What's good, y'all? It's Boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're going to check out Do Not Tell a Wrestler that WWE is fake. Don't do that, y'all. Um, I don't even have to tell you. That's not a good idea. I've always said this. Once I found out that the storylines were predetermined and some of the moves that they do aren't real, some of the stuff that they do end up doing is real. Some of the gravity, you can't fake that. <laughs> Injuries, you can't fake that. Broken bones, bones, torn ligaments, you can't fake that. A lot of the stuff that they end up doing in the ring is real. A lot of the stuff, like some of the punches that they throw and some of the kicks, they're not real. They're more optical illusions, and sometimes they are real. Sometimes you get into some stiff matches. So it's just the storyline is predetermined, but don't don't go around telling a wrestler, nah, this all is fake. They'll show you how real it gets, so... I've always been a person like, don't do that. Tell that to the people that that have damn near lost their career or their their body is never the same. Tell that to Mick Foley. Tell that to the Undertaker with all the hips, like the multiple. I think he's had multiple hip uh, replacements or hip surgery. Tell that to Stone Cold. Tell that to Edge who had to retire almost. I think like ten years damn near. Yeah, well, it was like seven years or something like that. He had to retire because of his neck. Tell that to Randy Orton. Tell that to John Cena. Tell that to everyone that's ever gotten injured in a wrestling ring. It's not fake. I'm telling you now. You're probably not going to like the results of that. But we're going to check this out by none other than Tap Out Corner. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. Let's get right into this video, man. We're about to see Ask WWE Wrestlers if wrestling is fake. Here are the responses they got. During WWE's tour in the Middle East in 1987, The Undertaker and Vader appeared on a morning show. The host asked if the type of wrestling Taker and Vader did was real. Undertaker gave a well thought out response, saying that what they do is one of the most athletic endeavors you would ever see. Vader, on the other hand, did this. Does that oh! Feel fake, huh? Does that feel fake? Hey. Does it? Oh, no, no. Just Why don't you come down tonight? And before I kick his ass, I'll kick your ass. Wow. Okay. All, All right. right. Just calm down. Don't. Hey, we're not here to be insulted. I'm not here to be insulted. Oh. Okay. After the show was off the air, the police were called and Vader was arrested. What? In 1989, a group of wrestlers, including Sting. Bro, that was, yo, he said, why don't you come down to the show? After I kick his ass, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> Oh, he found out real quick. Hey, yo, damn. That was crazy. Roddy Piper appeared on the show Politically Correct, which is hosted by Bill Maher. The show started off hot when Maher's first question was, Your audience, they're in on the joke, right? The wrestlers began to get defensive, which prompted Bill Maher to ask if wrestlers were really hitting each other. This began a big argument, so Roddy Piper decided to get everyone's attention and make a point by doing this. I'm There's so never a bruise on any of you. Baloney, you How got a minute? Look at this. <laughs> no. Oh, whoa. Metal Hill. Oh, wow. Rest in peace, Roddy, man. Bro, this is this is what I'm. I, I want y'all to understand. This is why I said what I said at the beginning of the video. These guys legit go through injuries. If it wasn't real, nobody would get injured. I've seen people get. We just recently saw. Hopefully, Biggie has a speedy recovery. Uh, hopefully, he's able to come back to the wrestling. We literally just saw Biggie get fucking suplexed on top of his head. Damn near, almost broke his fucking neck. What are we talking about? See that wrist? Seven years it's been broken. Owen Hart, dead. Why don't you go tell Mrs. Hart what a joke it is, huh? Oh, oh. just a praise, right? You want me to be truthful with you? Huh, okay. champ? Vince McMahon has had some cringy and... Ooh, that was cold. He said, Owen Hart, dead. Woo-hoo! Hey, man, I, I, man, that's why I always say I respect what these wrestlers do, Downright bro. Downright embarrassing interview moments. However, during one incident, McMahon clearly came out on top. During the press conference for WrestleMania 19, a reporter named Stuttering John decided Stuttering to approach John. Vince McMahon and ask some really uh, weird questions, like oh how much boy. money McMahon has. Stuttering John then asked if wrestling was fake, to which Vince McMahon responded, Well, you know, wrestling is fake, though, right? No, where the hell are you back? <laughs> Come on, what's the matter with you, huh? <laughs> 
Wrestling is fake. But you know what I mean. It's, 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 it's I don't know what you mean. Well, it's entertainment. It's not real fighting. You know. Not. Oh, come on. Baby. God, it's amazing. The reporter did not know when to quit and asked Vince what he thought about the white trash that came out of WWE's TV shows. McMahon gave a perfect response. We don't have any white trash. With exception of present company. During an interview, <laughs> Vince is Vince is so subtle with his disrespect. He's like, we don't have any white trash. With the exception of present company. Vince, that was subtle. That was that was subtle disrespect. He ain't not to get like rude with him. He's like, bro. It's the nigga, you don't get on my fucking face. Like many wrestlers, that you'd often get told by people that wrestling is fake. Finley's response was that you can only feel pain, you can't see it. He would then ask the person to give them their thumb, and well, I'll let Finley explain. So I give them their thumb, and I get a hold of the thumb and say, listen, you prove to your friend that I'm hurting you. I'll just put a bit of pressure on your thumb. You prove to your friend that I'm hurting you. Well, I'm singing, I start singing a song, and there, this guy's going, ha, ah, and his friend's sort of laughing because he's confused at his, his face, but I'm singing a song, and I would snap their thumb, bam. Just like a chicken leg. In the 1980s, oh, wow. when not everyone knew if wrestling was real or not, ABC did a story that tried to expose the secrets. The reporter doing the investigation was John Stossel. After a WWE show in Madison Square Garden, Stossel approached a wrestler named Dr. D. David Schultz. The reporter. Oh yeah, I think I did see this. This is the infamous. I, if you haven't seen it, enjoy, bro. Told Schultz he thought wrestling was fake, which prompted the wrestler <laughs> to smack John Stossel's face. Schultz surprisingly did not get arrested for this, but his career was basically over afterward, and WWE would pay $280,000 to settle the case. According to David Schultz, Vince McMahon told them to stay in character during the interview so that people would still think WWE was real. What's odd is that a few years later, Vince McMahon himself would publicly admit that wrestling was staged. Sin Cara also slapped a TV host once. To see what happened, watch this video well here's the thing the reason why he did that vince did that is obviously he was under investigation with drugs and all this other stuff so they had to do that he had to come out and say it was fake because uh drugs and we're not into that boom 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 boom, boom. he had to he had to so i understand that but yeah man uh this was a good video bro this was fucking i i love seeing like vintage wrestling videos like this especially ones where people try to fucking clown wrestlers i always call fake and then <laughs> roddy was like bro i got a metal hip i got a broken wrist tell that to owen hart <laughs> like what are you talking about what are you talking about bro this is once again when people say this some of the stuff definitely is just like oh my gosh it, it, i understand why people are all wrestling is fake but trust and believe the injuries the stuff that they go through to entertain us that's not fake bro this is why they say don't try this at home because if you don't know what you're doing you could potentially hurt yourself hell if you do know what you're doing you can still potentially hurt yourself so comment down below let me know when did you guys find out that wrestling had predetermined script in and it wasn't i guess you could say it wasn't um i guess I don't want to say real because there are real, real elements to it, but it was just more predetermined. When did you find out that th that these guys are actually working together in a sense to create the illusion of like a a traditional fight? They're, like they're working together. It's like a it's like a, a song and dance. When did you guys find that out? I think I found that out like when I was a kid. I found out like oh so like you know what I'm saying okay they they're you know what I'm saying they're they're actually working with each other but did it take away my excitement from it no because i was entertained i can i'm i'm all for suspending disbelief in that situation because it's like i can i can live with that you know if it's entertaining i can live with that because wrestling is really more about the storytelling what happens in the ring is good but it, it's always been about characters and storytelling getting people to buy in and i like when wrestling takes realism like real stories real situations real beefs and put them into the matches it makes it more entertaining because now you still don't know who's gonna win it's just the people in the back and the people in the ring knows who's gonna win we just don't know you know what i'm saying so when did you guys find out it was predetermined and these guys you know the people in the ring are working together when did you guys find that out at what age and has that kind of change your perspective of wrestling or or is it more or less the same you still enjoy it just like you did 
when you found when you didn't know it was predetermined let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support roll to 100k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace